Save Our Planet, Climate Change Day of Action in the United Kingdom. On Thursday, March 19th, in the city of Coventry, United Kingdom, hundreds of concerned citizens marked the nation's Climate Change Day of Action with a symbolic funeral-style procession. Signs carried alongside pallbearers read floods, disease, homelessness, all indicating the human effects of global warming to help ensure that world leaders will be focused on those most vulnerable to climate change at the key Copenhagen conference this December. The event also officially opposed the building of a new local coal-fired power plant. Joining in the peaceful rally was renowned climate scientist Dr. James Hansen, who shared with us the two top actions for caring citizens. On a personal basis, perhaps the most important thing you can do is change your diet to a more vegetarian diet, because that is a major contributor to, carb to not only carbon dioxide, but also methane and other greenhouse gases. And you also have to put pressure on the politicians to address the coal issue. If we could do those two things, then the planet would be on a much better, a much safer grounds. Vegan lunches were provided to participants by The Green Garden, a local nonprofit catering business. Key speakers at the event, including the organizers from Christian Aid and the Stop Climate Chaos Coalition, also agreed that a reduction in meat consumption and a corresponding increase in the crops grown for direct human consumption are sure ways to abate global warming and social injustice. It's a new kind of world agreement that we need. And within this context, stable food for people and countries who are poor and marginalized is critical. And that means land must be used to grow the food they need. So if we cut down on our meat consumption, that can help reduce our carbon footprints. It can also help support some of the, the poor farmers in, in, in disadvantaged parts of the world who are being cleared from their land in order to uh, grow crops to feed cattle for us to eat. So they are also the people who will be hit first and worst by climate change. So reducing our meat consumption can help on a variety of fronts. We thank Mr. Sinha, Mr. Mukherjee, Dr. Hansen and all the concerned participants of the Climate Change Day of Action. May we gain every additional moment possible for the world to adopt the sustainable choices that will ensure a stable future for us all.